Hello, all. Welcome back to I Priest. Uh, I keep opening with that. It's first impressions. Uh, LP Equestria Girls. Spring Breakdown. See, this this is what I was thinking. More we would get with uh, Rainbow Road Trip. Third. 30 to 40 minutes short. Well, it was a little over 40, but you get the point. Preach! I like it. <laughs> the human world continues to be a dumping ground for the evils of Equestria. <laughs> uh, do rewind, but the special is about, uh, Spring break, going on a cruise, everything's perfectly planned by Twilight, sci-fi, but Rainbow is over eager to do superhero things and ends up ruining a lot of people's vacations. Mostly humorously. Mostly humorously, even if rude. Got Pinky Band from the food court, uh Messed up uh Rarity Shopping, I believe. Uh <laughs> Shook a very seasick AJ a lot. And after a few a little bit of puking, got one of those y'all sleeping on the couch tonight looks. Look, we got can can canonical apple dash. Even if it's for the main timeline. I will be making these jokes from now on. Anytime there's a, a good a good opportunity for it, as I see. I will take it. But yeah. You know, standard boy who cries wolf storyline, though. Eventually, she's right. There is an evil thing. She's great in this, as always. He's looking for e bad magic. And eventually gets pointed towards Trixie. Uh, th things continue on. Uh, she spots... What I thought were, and was right, about the Storm King's markings in the ocean while Storm was growing. After the lights on the ship blew and the engine blew. Uh, after, coincidentally, they used their own power. She convinced everyone to use their powers. After apologizing for annoying everyone. Then she made it worse. She tried to show it off, but failing to do it in time and getting yelled at. Says, frigate runs off. Uh, looking out for something within the storm. Someone's gone off an island filled with Equestrian magic. Including parrots who can do more than just parrot your words at her. Rainbow really needs to stop saying her name whenever she makes a declarative statement. Makes it very easy for the parrots to rat her out. <laughs> uh, at first it seems like, oh, there's nothing here. Then, boom, giant uh, plant monster. And quicksand that turns out to actually be another portal to Equestria. And that's to be real, these kings could be everywhere. Which is an excellent hot plot for more uh, stuff. Hopefully they knew more with it. But they got did some good stuff here. They tried yeah, they tried to rescue out. Summer realized this isn't quicksand, this is sand covering a portal. Co pushes Rainbow down the rest of the way and jump pulls Sci-Fi in with her. Uh <laughs> who have made up this rainbow. And you, we get this excellent montage of, uh, uh, Sai Twai, uh, freaking, well, first, an excellent freak out by everyone before they get you just enough used to being ponies. Decide, you know what? Our friends are probably fine. Let's go hang out, hang out with, uh, other Twilight. Hmm? Yeah, a little bit of vacation time. That side why I had ruined by Rainbow. The Sneak Through Ponyville and an excellent set of cameos for lots of people looking up weirdly and uh, Big Mac gets a little paranoid. Uh, of course, no one actually talks to them. We almost had Rainbow meet Rainbow. Which is weird because, like, it, you know, I, I, honestly, even the main six entirely, like, you could have had those guys talk. They have the same VAs. Uh, anyways, they didn't proceed to spend quite a while hanging out, talk, talk, shop, swapping stories, mostly from the pony side. 
in Fondu, going over the mini adventures and adventure trophies Twilight apparently keeps, including the Storm King staff. Ah, before I forget, there was one other issue. Also, Rarity's got herself a love interest, of course. He's a black Brit British fella, yeah? What's all this then? Oh, look, I'm not. I I I can't remember all the try of British accent at the moment. Uh, which is fair. He's better at faking it than me. Yeah, it's a fake. Which, uh, Rarity only finds out in the last bit of dialogue they have when he actually slips character. Whoop de doo. Uh, but yeah. Since they keep swapping about. Uh, man, I love this. Man, I hate this. And uh. Excellently well time quality pop on the day. But eventually they bring out the Storm King staff, talk about how they sealed and banished it away, and blah 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 blah. Turns out Apple da uh, Rainbow Dash. Should have gone to mind that. No, it's just a symbol and goes, oh no. And uh, everyone runs back. This is of course set well before the season nine, so no hint of a uh, big coronation thing. They rush back. Use the, use the MacGuffin to reseal away his mag Storm King's power, which is honestly more frightening than s s the Storm King ever really was in the movie. And then have to get told by a parrot the boat's still sinking, revealing the parrots can actually just talk. They rescue everybody using their powers except Pinky, who just eats somebody free. free. Uh... They all back to the island, and now it's time for rescue. But how will they? Be, how, how will they get back? Eventually, they come to the conclusion to use the portal to shortcut their, their way through to there, leading to also the Fuji class, but getting reponified or ponified. Sort of like what Sons that was originally going to do with them. I like I just realized, damn, she was going. She she ended up leading an arc of people through the mirror. Mostly just so she could take him back for the other mirror. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, only, and in doing so, accidentally end up uh, cutting enough of rockets that Spike ends up dropping the painting he was trying to hang, out, hang up when they first showed up and had just successfully put up now. <laughs> it's one of the Salvador Dali's but replacing the melting clocks with dragons. Also, apparently, Spike went to a, dra a dragon wedding at one point. And that was it. And, heads down, th that was a really good one. I liked it. Not only because it gave me more, at least some degree, of uh, our pon pony cast. Gave us more of sci-fi and fly meeting. Pinky didn't recognize Sly, Sly, Sly as looking like Fly with her glasses on, which I'm half convinced is bullshit because of an earlier comment establishing Pinky, both Pinkies at least somewhat are connected. Even if they're not fully aware of what's going on around each other at the moment. Uh. And. Yeah, it was, it was just a good little solid moment with some stuff on the question side. Um. Super happy about out. Holy shit, I just realized something that I didn't even fully catch. Another thing from the movies that showed up in, in the show proper. I mean, we know I, I Sirens seeing uh, Sunset at the last possible moment, but in the build up to the villain spot when they go to steal the book to get Rogar's bell. They find, to figure out how to use Grover's Bell, they f go to the restricted section in the Canterlot Library. Something she didn't find out about until the movie. I just freaking realized that. Wow, that's another connection between these verses. I would have admittedly liked... I'd like it if Ikuji ended. It could do some sort of either... A similar uh, j jump to the future that uh, 
NLP did, and then a crossover episode between the two where we finally get a good solid interaction between some uh, halfway in between each set's time, time uh, epilogues and into the series and have them interact. You know, like uh, 30 year old uh, Rain Twilight, Side Twilight interacting with. Princess uh, Twilight, ruler of all Equestria, and all that. That'd be neat. Uh, right. Unlikely, though. Just a little idea popping right halfway into this. Uh, but yeah. It was a good, solid episode. I enjoyed it. Uh, I had fun watching it. Two. Uh